Hello, this is Alex Blackston, um, an intern at the Center for Energy Education, also a student at Marietta College in Ohio, and a proud resident of Lancaster, Ohio. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lemon battery. And you may ask why it's important for to, to understand batteries. Well, and renewable energy, it's very inconvenient. Um, especially when it comes to things like solar or wind energy where you don't have power all the time you know you you can't get the energy at night so we, we need to find a way to store that energy and we can do that using the lemon so how this works just a basic rundown of of how the lemon battery works is that we have a nail a penny and the lemon has you know it has the lemon juice inside of it and this nail acts as what's called a cathode so it, it it's a metal so it has lots of electrons that are like freer to move around and this penny is an anode so it it, it wants to attract those electrons so all they need is um you know, all, all you need to do is complete a circuit and you'll have electrons flow from the nail, they come from the nail through the wire and into, you know, the penny. And where the lemon comes in is the lemon has, it's, it's what's called electrolytic. So it has um, an elect electrolytic substance inside of it that can be used to store energy it, that the electrons can um, hang around inside of the lemon after we disconnect you know our circuit so let's go ahead and make our lemon battery so we're going to start we got to start by rolling the lemons on the table because we want to break up you know the different pockets of juice so that it's all just one um one electric cell so you just roll each lemon on the table Make sure you break up all those pockets of juice. All right, and then once you get do that, then we need to take one nail and one penny and insert them into each lemon. So you could go ahead and take your nail. These are um, galvanized nails and you're gonna need four of them, just like you're going to need four pennies because pennies are made out of copper and because the nails are galvanized that they contain zinc which is you know important for you know the function of it being a cathode and blending electrons so you take the nail insert it into the lemon and a penny on the other side of the lemon just like that and we're going to do that four more times with each lemon. So you go ahead, put the nail in, and then put the penny into the lemon too. And do that for the rest of your lemons. Like so. So there you go. So now you got all four lemons with a penny and a nail in them, a galvanized nail or a zinc coated nail. And you also need um, four different electrical wires. So it doesn't really matter what color wires you use, but I'm using red and green. So. You can use whatever colors you want, but if you want to use red and green like me, you can do that too. So you need to take one of your wires. These are um, called um, alligator test leads. So they, you know, you have an alligator clip, so they're easy to clip on. So you can take the alligator clip and clip one end to a nail that is sticking out of one of the, the linens on that first lemon, and then connect the other end to it the other end of it to um, a penny in the next lemon. 
then we're going to do the same thing. So on that same lemon, you're going to take um, your next alligator clip, clip it onto the nail, and then the other end onto a penny on a different lemon. Then you're going to do this yet again. Clip one end onto the nail, another end onto the penny sticking out of the last lemon. So now you should have used three of your alligator clips. So now you have two left. And you might be wondering, well, what are we going to do with this battery? Well, some people say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, we're going to make a light bulb light up. So when life gives you lemons, you got to make your, your, your LED light up. So you can really use any kind of LED. Um, a red's going to be red LED is going to be the easiest just because it's, it takes um, less electrical um, energy to, you know, have the LED activate. I mean, activate. So a red LED works best. And the way we're going to light it up is we're going to take um, one of your alligator clips and clip it onto a, the nail of one of the lemons, you know, the last nail that does not have an alligator clip on it. And this is important because the LED will only function on a certain way. Like it matters which which side we connect to um, each leg. So if, if you look at my LED, you see it has two different legs. So the side that we want to connect to um, the nail is the side that normally has um, the shorter leg or the, the other way that you can tell is it will have like will be more plastic shaved, shaved off so it's like flatter on that side above that leg and it's important that we connect this side to the nail because that's the side that the, the electrons need to come from for this this device to work so we're going to go ahead and connect that and then the other leg we just connect to the penny on um, that first limit that we had like that and then you just got to connect that last alligator lead to that leg and it should light up. So you can see it's it's lighting up a little bit here, but it's not super easy to see on video. But yeah, there it is. So you might be um, wondering when other circumstances where where batteries are used. So I I said that batteries are used to you know store energy from solar or you know, solar energy or from wind turbines but you know there's there's batteries all over the place and a lot of different electrical devices and you know just everywhere in your phone now now, now you know they're making electric cars and batteries are really important to that they they already were but even more so now that we're running cars completely out of electric. Um, and I guess just to conclude, if you're interested in batteries and want to get into some sort of career where you're you're working with batteries, um, some some things you could do, you could, you know, you you could study electrical engineering in school, and uh, you know you could specialize in batteries that way. Or you could go to a place like the Center of Energy Education, where they can train you um, to maintain solar farms or areas like that harness energy from the sun or wind turbines. And you can pick up, you know, that kind of career where you're, you're working as a skilled professional, maintaining the the solar panels and the different battery um, battery storage areas too. All right, so now you guys know how to make a battery. Again, this is Alex Blackston.
with the Center for Energy Education. So next time life gives you lemons, um, make a battery.